Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to configure our own chatbot on Raspberry Pi 4 with the help of Raspberry Pi Bookworm 64 bit version. We are going to use Google Gemini API key for free. Simple. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Ok friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, as I mentioned, today we will create our own chatbot on our Raspberry Pi 4 using latest Raspberry Pi Bookworm 64-bit version. And for chatbot, we will use Google Gemini free API key. So let's get started. So for that, just open browser and search for Gemini API key. Then you will get this page, get Gemini API key, ai.googledev okay just click on it so then here simply click on gemini api tab here it is as you can see we have gemini api so just click on gemini api and then you will see get api key here it is get api key just select it get api key and then you will see this kind of page here as you can see i have already created one key so i will simply delete the key and then I will create here new key. So create API key. Then mention the name. So basically we are working on our Raspberry Pi 4. So I will mention R Pi 4. And then just click on create API key in existing project. Because I have already mentioned the name. That's why it say create API key in already exit the project. So just select it and it will generate our API key. So this is what our API key, click on copy and we will save our key on our desktop. So right click new file and then simply mention key and then click on OK. This is the name of our file key. Right click text editor and we will paste our Gemini API key like this way. Just paste it. File and save. Done. Close it. And then just close the tab now for today's project i have created a new repository rpi gemini chatbot i will mention the link copy paste the link inside web browser as we always do go to the code and then simply click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see i have successfully downloaded the repository done so friends as you can see this is what our repository right click click on extract here it will extract our folder so this is what our folder right click just cut go to the home and paste it our folder here simple so we paste our folder inside our home directory go inside our repository rq.txt right click open with text editor it will open our rq.txt file like this way so this is what our basically text file we want to install some packages so i have already mentioned the packages inside this rq.txt file so so first we will update our repository so open terminal and let's just run the command like this way sudo apt space update sudo space apt space update and then just hit enter it will update our repositories done we successfully update our repositories now let's just clear the screen and we will run our first command so first command just copy paste copy and paste it inside our terminal and then hit enter because i have already run the command that's why it says cannot remove because i have already removed the externally managed file that's why it said there is no file so when you first time install bookworm on your raspberry pi 4 or maybe raspberry pi 5 you need to simply run this command simple so i have done with this command now we will install our packages so open tony python id go to the menu programming and tony and we will install our all the packages go to the tools and manage packages and we will search for our first package so rq.txt as i mentioned this is what our text file copy the first package and just paste it control plus v search on pypy 
first package google generate your ai select it click on install button done it will install google generate your ai and then our next package which is gtts which we use for converting our text into speech format so simply we will mention our gtts simple so gtts basically convert our text into uh, speech simple so gtts search for search on pypy first package and i have already installed the gtts that's why it say uninstall so you need to simply click on install button and it will install gtts it is really easy then we need play sound so copy the play sound and just press ctrl plus v click on search on pypy first package click on install button done it will install play sound the last one package which is pydub copy it and then just press ctrl plus v search on pypy first package pydub click on install button done it will install pydub on our bookworm 64 bit version so this is how we need to install all these packages google generative ai gtts play sound and pydub done let me close the text file now we will open our main file where we have our full code so go to the file click on open we will go inside our repository this is what our repository main.py click on ok so this is what our main code simple so first we will of course import our all the packages so import google generative ai as gen ai then gtts for converting our text into speech then import io temp file pygame because the pygame is basically default install that's why there is no need to install pygame package so in my raspberry pi bookworm as you can see if i open manage packages and if i search for pi game pi game hit enter first package as you can see there is no install or uninstall tab because the pi game is by default installed that's it simple so pi game then we, we install pydub so from pydub import audio segment then from pydub dot playback import play and then of course we will import os then gen ai we will use this gen ai because this gen ai is of course our google generative ai so we import google generative ai as gen ai so this gen ai gen ai dot configure we want to mention our api key which we will mention after some time so here api key we want to mention here our api key then of course we will use the model so model is just a variable model is equal to gen ai again this gen ai dot g capital generative model generative model and we will mention the model name gemini hyphen 1.5 hyphen flash as simple as and then we will create the function so our first function is basically generate ai responses means from this function we will get our queries answer our queries answer from our gen ai generative model so generative ai responses inside that we want to mention our object so our object is basically user queries so query then response is just a variable response is equal to model dot generate content and inside that we want to mention our query and then we will return our response dot text response dot text and then as i mentioned because we don't want only the reply we want to convert our reply into speech for that or we can say not speech basically we want to convert our reply into speak format means we want to uh, we want to make our chat bot a speak so for that we will use here gtts so it will convert the text into speak format so for that simply def speak function inside that we will pass text as an object then tts is equal to gtts this is what we call our gtts from gtts so tts is equal to gtts and text language of course english 
then this is the basic code for how we use a gtts this is the basic code so there is no need to explanation for gtts it is really simple and then here we will use the play play is basically this from pad up dot playback import play so this play we will call over here play and it will play the audio so because basically here i don't want to create the mp3 file after when we co complete all the response so i want here when the response generate it will automatic run the text it will auto play the text simple means it will auto speak so for that we will use this pied up dot playback function import play as simple as explanation so play inside that we will mention the audio that's it and then because we will create the mp3 file but we will not save the file we will create the file mp3 file but we will not save the file so here it is as you can see i have mentioned temp file name so temp file name is basically dot mp3 it will generate the file but it will not save the file temporary and then os dot remove function will remove the file and then our main program so if name main then we will print welcome to ai prompt generator this is just a normal print and then this is the text uh, type your question or query below type exit to quit means if you want to exit you want to type exit that's it then it will quit the program so while true user query is basically input and then of course we will input our question we will input our query if the user query dot lower is equal to is equal to exit means if we type exit then it will print the goodbye and it will break the while loop it will break the while loop so here it is as you can see break otherwise try ai response generative ai dot response generate ai response then here we will mention our user query so generate ai response is basically our function which we create this one as you can see generate ai response this is the function which we want to call for query so the function we use over here ai response is basically our function inside that of course we want to pass our query and then it will print the response so we, it will print the response like this way ai response simple and then we will use our speak function because we want to speak the query so we will use our speak function and inside that speak function we will pass our ai response as simple as it is really easy this code is really easy and then we mention here a try so simply we will mention escape simple and then it will print an error occur means if there is error of course there will be error occur that's it so this is the basic code now simply we paste our key so we want to mention our key from our key file let's just open key editor means the text editor normal text file so let's just right click and open with text editor copy the key and 20 python id and here we want to mention our key just press ctrl plus v done so friends we mention our api key also now for speak system we will use here a bluetooth speaker so i have here my bluetooth speaker which i will connect with the raspberry pi 4 so how to connect the bluetooth speaker with raspberry pi 4 simply first on your bluetooth speaker power on and then go here in bluetooth section as you can see just click on it the bluetooth icon and then you will see these three option turn off make discoverable and add device so of course we want to add our bluetooth speaker device so simply select the add device and then raspberry pi 4 bluetooth will search the device nearby raspberry pi 4 and then this is what my device music play a1 select it click on pair and then you will see this kind of window successful pairing click on ok and then go here in volume section select it right click let me make like just go here again volume and then right click and you will see the devices so this is what my music play a1 device so i will select it and then you will get the confirmation message from your device connected as you can see connected 
so i have successfully connected my bluetooth speaker with raspberry pi 4 done now we will start our code you you means user so user will ask question so let's just say how are you hit enter now we will get the answer with the help of our speak function in speech format i am doing well thank you for asking as a large language model i don't experience emotions or feelings in the same way humans do but i am functioning optimally and ready to assist you how can i help you today so friends as you can see we ask the question how are you and we get the answer with the help of our bluetooth speaker so we will ask a next question so now next question let's just say what is what is raspberry pi what is raspberry pi and just hit enter the raspberry pi is a series of small single board computers sbcs developed in the uk by the raspberry pi foundation think of it as a tiny inexpensive computer that's about the size of a credit card it's designed primarily for education and learning to program but it's also used for a wide variety of other projects from home automation and robotics to media centers and retro gaming here's a breakdown of its key characteristics asterisk asterisk small and affordable Asterisk its compact size and low cost make it accessible to a broad audience. Asterisk asterisk programmable. Asterisk it runs various operating systems including Linux distributions allowing users to program in multiple languages. Python, C++, Java, etc. Asterisk asterisk versatile. Asterisk it can be used for many purposes. thanks to its gpio general purpose input output pins that allow it to interface with external hardware like sensors motors and leds asterisk asterisk open source asterisk both the hardware designs and many of the software components are open source fostering a large and active community asterisk asterisk expandable Asterisk various accessories and peripherals are available to expand its capabilities such as cameras displays and keyboards in essence the raspberry pi is a powerful and versatile little computer that empowers users of all levels to learn experiment and create it's not meant to replace a desktop computer for everyday tasks but it's an incredibly useful tool for a wide range of projects and learning experiences so friends as you can see this is how our chat gpt work simple with the help of gemini free api now if i want to exit i will simply mention exit simply type exit hit enter goodbye it will quit our program So I hope you will learn something from this video I have mentioned the full code we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye